put it as, as something serious. I, it wasn't making sense. So what they did, they still, they, they it wasn't that, making sense to me. Was either the fact that more than one person come forward, how does that change that timeline? Days before this report was made. And, and the rationale behind it, the fact that even though a dozen people come forward, it still have changed the timeline that these things were made before the police, the, the report was made to the police. It could have been in this planning stage while planning to do it with seeking assistance but before. I still, I still say the same thing. So if they decided to go now, they're saying that they tell you, look, go until the third gate and go on the force. Why is that you must go to the, 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 the police and they put No, but it, the, 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 the information is not that you must go. You're saying that, look, I'm going to do this. No, yeah, no, 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 no. Yeah, 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 that, that's yeah. my understanding. That's your understanding. Yes. But that's what? Um, came out that he's going to do it. He was saying, go to the station and make this report that um, you were present when this offer was made. That's not what I understand from the statement, sir. But that's what I understand from the statement of Balio. And that's what I understand from the evidence Balio gave this morning, his whole testimony. That's not right. On just um, give it time and everything, estimation. Yeah. In the I, know it, I know he said it was only 26, but yeah. that's not my understanding from the statement. That you are, it was not your understanding that? No, sir. That, that he was trying to go and, and make the report. I, from my understanding, he was seeking support to, yeah. to be a witness to his, his report. Mm -hmm. That was my understanding. That was your understanding? Yes, sir. And that understanding was based on what? From what would I, I, I would have read. But we had the same statement. And I had a little, we had the benefit too of hearing the man's testimony uh, this morning. Now tell me, tell me this. Um, before Baliu came forward on the 26th, not the 26th, some days after the 29th. You're not sure how long after the 29th. Did you know Baliu? No, sir. You didn't know Baliu? No, sir. Do, do you know, like, what the man like Anthony or this man is? Yes. You know him? Yes. How, how do you uh, know him? Uh, I would have arrested him a few times. A few times? Yes. For, for what? Different offenses, robbery, on the arms, uh, on raids. A man living in Albany's town, always in a kind of. Well, I'm not understanding that. You, you found that. You, you find that. Um, there's a credible man who will come forward and tell the police who arrested him so many times and so on about this poor car. They, they would have had stories or, or incidents where he would have come forward and give us credible information that led us not only to the arrest but to the convictions of people, persons. So is that your form? Yes, sir. All right, now I'll tell me this. We have been trying to locate him, contact him for the last one, you can't find him. Do you know where, how we go find him? Yes. Him he him. would have contacted me uh, Saturday. But we get ready to mess it up, so I don't think looking for him, for him to come forward. And we can't find him. Can you assist He him? would have mentioned that to me, that he heard that something on the radio for him. Yes. Yeah. But he, he wanted, the reason we, we want him to, to, to come, because in one of the statements I saw, he said that, look, he had come forward and we look on condition, he came for free. He's an Indian man living in Albaistan, and if he come forward in uh, confrontation, he might be in danger. Yes. You're aware of the statement? Yes, sir. So, that, that was as a result of, uh, we have him, he was coming uh, for at least two or three times, and Gillard uh, was probably, was always coming after. Mm. Uh, we would have set a time at, at, at 10, Gillard comes at 2. So at the time at two, Gillard comes at four. So and then, then at that Gillard, stage, he probably started to get frustrated. Come, when Gillard come, in, when Gillard come, he had just left. He had just left. They yes. Are, they are always crossing. This, this, right. Now you wrote a statement in relation to all that transpired. Are we telling you wrote a statement? No, sir. You never wrote a statement. Yes, I wrote a statement as to what I did in the investigation, sir. And it would have contained all that you mentioned in this afternoon? No, sir. Why not? Sir, that was not what I, I just explained. Uh, was not part of the actual investigation. Uh, no, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on. Who spearheaded this investigation? I did, sir. And you were not part of the investigation? Yes, sir, but I, I, I don't see the need. Uh, what I, I said here, I, I don't think if that 
that would have been placed uh, in my state. Because you're saying that you were the you spearheaded the investigation, yeah. and yet still you were not you were not the head or something like that. You're saying I'm the head. I never said that. I'm no, not but you spearheaded you, you spearheaded the investigation. Yes, sir. But you did not see a need to write a statement. No. All the trust. Right? No. Uh, no sir. So you were refreshed from what? For my general knowledge about the matter. For your general knowledge about the matter. Yes. Mr. Chan. Now, before the confrontation of the Gilad with Adams, right, Adams, did you speak to Gilad, give you some information about Adams and so Did you speak about any phone records or phone numbers? Yes, I did. Yes, tell us. I would have told uh, Gillard that uh, we were in receipt of a phone about this conversation that uh, Anthony would have told us that he had with him and uh, about him telling, Gillard telling Anthony that he was lying on uh, Ms. Am Khan and he was only pelting a lash on him, the exact word, because of what he would have done and so on. Um, I also asked Gillard if he knew Lloyd Adams, and he said no. Um, so at that stage, I asked him if he was the holder of a telephone number, and two, three numbers, and he, he said yes. One uh, he uses, and he said the other one was bought by his mother, and the other was bought by a guy that was working in with his taxi service. He acknowledged, yes, that he has possession of all three. Before I showed him the, the telephone printout, um, at that stage, he said yes. Uh, he said he knows the number, but he doesn't know the man by the name of Lloyd Adams. He know him as a, um, uh, give another name. Call name. Anthony. 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 Give the name was Anthony. And then I asked him about the, the conversation and he said that uh what Anthony said? Yes. And then he he, he said he, he he can't remember having that conversation with Anthony. I indicated to him that we would so hold a confrontation in the near future with him and, and, and his remarks was, all I have to say is that I don't know nothing about that. He don't know nothing about that. He spoke about the confrontation with Badio. Isn't it so that Anthony at uh Gilad said he had didn't see he had not seen Aunt Badio for four years? Yeah, when is he confronted with Badio? I don't know if you, you remember. But uh did he not see but in relation to I didn't know him for four years. I didn't see him for four years. No. Reading, the, years reading the file I remember him saying that he was denying whatever Badio was saying. He wasn't no, yes. He wasn't going with what Badio said. Yeah, but did he say he, he, denied he, it. he didn't see Badio for four years? I can't remember if he okay. said that. You can't remember, I don't expect you to mention okay. You said that Anthony, you were known to Anthony, Anthony is known to you. Yes, sir. You use him as a soul. You, you, you sometimes use him for police work. Yes, sir. I don't want the implication is there. Use it with this. You know it. <laughs> and he volunteered that information to you. Yes. He volunteered that information to you about the conversation with uh, Gilad. No. You said that you had another statement with uh, a couple of 
some lady, I don't know about this, but some lady giving a statement to, to, to you or the police or something. Yes. But why? Uh, <coughs> she, but she would have said that she. She would have said that she would have uh, known Gillard for some time. Uh, Gillard uh, used to rent a, a cubicle in her uh, salon somewhere at Grove. And, and they, they used to be living opposite to one another in Diamond Houses scheme. <coughs> and uh, I'm trying to put it together from the statement. And, Sometime before this incident, a few days before she would have learned about this uh, uh, assassination plot, um, Gillard would have come and told her that he is renting a building somewhere, and he wanted to know if she wanted to be a part uh, a partner in the renting, and and she said she told him. No. And then from one thing to another, they, they started a conversation. And he told her that um, he was going and, and make this report on Khan. And she said she immediately asked him uh, if this is not the same guy that would have helped you start your business. And he said yes. But then he went on to say, oh, these guys are wicked and what they would have done to him and so on. And she, she told him that ungratefulness is worse than witchcraft and he should not do that uh, because it's a serious issue.